handler, what is all this? That's a good question. This is a coastal watershed model. So what that means is we're going to use this to take a look at how water falls on the land and eventually out into our oceans. We've got our houses, factories, even a farm where we grow our food. Cool. Yeah. You want to get started? Definitely. People love green grass. So one of the things that we use is fertilizer. This green stuff's going to represent the fertilizer that we put on our lawns and in our gardens to help keep our plants looking beautiful. So what you can do is actually anything that's green, we can put fertilizer on. OK. Um. Next, we'll talk about pesticides. Here in Florida, we have a lot of bugs. And some people want to uh, use pesticides to keep those bugs off the plants. Got it. Our next one's going to be a little bit more unpleasant. Uh, humans and animals make waste. And so we're going to use the brown to represent some of the waste that can occur. All over the green? All over the green. So what kind of waste? Um, just think about it. Oh. <sighs> Another one. Our soy sauce today is going to represent oil. It comes from our cars, it comes from machinery. And our last one that we're going to talk about, this is oatmeal. Mm -hmm. But for today, it's going to be uh, litter and debris. So we make trash, and it doesn't always get put away. So go ahead, and you can just sprinkle this anywhere where people would be. So how do you feel about this? I never really noticed how gross all of this was, because <laughs> you can't see it. Right, you, you usually can't see it. This helps us really see it a lot better. Are you ready to see what happens when it rains? Yeah. OK, hand me that squirt bottle. Got it. Great. And so we're just going to apply water just like rain would from the sky. Wow, this is really messy and gross. We humans make a lot of stuff. Yeah. You can see, when the rain comes down, what it's doing is picking up some of this stuff that we, that we don't see, and it starts flowing and mixing together. Now take a look. Whoa, the water's so dirty on the coastline. Yeah, so all of those things that we put on the land have now been washed off by the rain and flowed right into our oceans. Water is always going to flow downhill. All of our runoff eventually will make it to a river and then out to the ocean. Our coral reef, look at all the stuff it's being exposed to. We've got our oyster bed that was here in the estuary. Do you think any of those oysters are good to eat? No, not after all those pesticides. Yeah, probably not. And would you want to go out here and swim at this beach? Not at all. This is really gross. If you think that's gross, let me show you something else. Ew. Yeah. So this is what we're doing to our oceans? Well, this is a representation. But yeah, this, this is a good um, visual of the impact that we can have on our oceans. However, there are things people can do to make it better. So you want to try this again in a different scenario? Definitely. OK. Um, this all kind of looks the same. What exactly did we do differently? So now we've added a couple things to our model. These green pieces of felt are representing areas of natural vegetation and growth. And our cotton swabs represent wetlands. Now, these are both natural things that can collect and help sort of filter out some of the sediments and contaminants that we saw in our last model. These pieces of clay are man-made structures, like berms. And also, we have a little plastic piece here that represents containment units. And so those are both things that humans can add in that will contain the contaminants so that we can process them later. OK, got it. Great. The last one we saw was sort of the worst case scenario. Yeah. Let's see if all the things that we added will make a bit of a difference. The first thing that we can all do to improve the situation is maybe use a little bit less. And now it's time to make it rain. Cool. Go for it. So if you notice, our white pads, which represent our wetlands, are changing colors. Uh, wetlands are natural controls because they are these amazing habitats that can take in the pollutants and actually filter them out for us. Here on the construction area, see how everything's really collecting. Wow, I mean, I'm making a lot of rain, but none of it's really going into the ocean that much. Right. So this model is really a great example of easy things that we can do um, to make sure that we're having less of an impact. So what are some things I can do to make sure that it stays clean? I love that you're asking that question. Do you have a dog, Valencia? I do. 
So one thing you can do is make sure that you always pick up after your pets so that their waste doesn't get into our system. You can also make sure to use Florida-friendly plants in your garden because they're gonna require less fertilizer, less pesticides, which means less pollution. Pollution in our oceans. Exactly. The reef is really clear. Yeah, what a difference it makes. Let's take a closer look. Whoa, that's so much better. I could almost drink it. Well, let's not. <laughs> uh, there are still some contaminants in here, but it's definitely a lot better. And so uh, you can see all of these things that we put from our natural habitats to man-made structures, they're all things that really reduce the impact that we're having. It's a lot less dramatic. And so that's what's gonna keep our oceans healthy and give them enough time to recover. Yeah. Wow, thank you so much, Ranger Chandler. Um, I was a little overwhelmed at first, but now I feel a lot more confident on how we can help our environment. Now for the hard part. Will you help me clean all of this up? Sure. <laughs> okay, great.